this is Rhonda with Rhonda's Crafty Chaos. And today we're, I'm just going to show you how to get a wired wreath frame and make it a work form for, for our mesh. So what we're going to do is we're going to get nine pipe cleaners. And all I need to do is fold them in half and cut them. And you'll hear a crazy kitty. She is quite a little talker. So I just have these nine pipe cleaners cut in half. And what we're gonna do is on every one of these crossbars right here, we're going to use the first two loops and put it through like this and kind of do it diagonally from this side to this side of the crossbar. And that just helps it to hold on you know, and it doesn't slip back and forth. And then the next um, one we're gonna do is we're gonna do these two on the same crossbar and we're gonna put it diagonally and then just give it a little twist. And then we, um, then we put one in the center and not on the top two rolls, but on the bottom two rolls. We'll put it, we'll put one right there. So we've got two on the crossbars, one in the center and we'll just repeat that whole scenario through the whole the rest of the wreath. And these two. Here. And one in the center. We'll just go around and do the same thing. You guys hear my cat talking? She's a little talker. diagonal on the crossbar See, and that just makes it so it don't slip and do the diagonal right here and one in the center and that gives us 18 different poofs or ruffles or whatever you do you'll do 18 different um, little puffs, I guess. All right. Got two more. And we are ready to put some mesh on it. Okay, so now we've got all our little pipe cleaners on and now we're going to work with some 21 inch mesh and this is a roll of 21 and what we're going to do is we're going to tape off it okay and then I just let it fall to the floor and then I bring it up so and we take it and we ruffle it in our hands like this and then we start with the first, whichever one you're gonna start with. So I always start in the center and work my way out. So I'll do that and then how I measure the different, between the different ones is I'll just take and skip one and then go to the next one and that's how big of puff I make. And it is, if you wanna measure about 10 to 11 inches is what I make my puffs. And normal is 10. Normal, um, people usually say 10. And as you get going, making quite a few, you don't even have to measure. You can just feel as you pull it out and how far you need to go. For the, and you just stick it right in between these two little pipe cleaners. You just lay it right there, push it down with your thumb, and then just take your pipe cleaner and give it a twist. And twist it pretty good because you don't want that puff to come out. Here is another. We're almost got the top, the center row done. And you just puff it out as you go. 
you'll have six poofs in the middle. Twelve poofs on the outside. Okay, this is kind of the tricky part. I'm going to clean up these little edges right here. They're a little frayed. This makes the back of your wreath look nice. Okay, on this next one, we'll just take it and do the same to this little loop. And we'll tie it in there. straight down like this and take it between these little pipe cleaners right here and you'll just put it in there like that so it you'll go down to the second row and that's how you get your mesh to go down to the second row and whoops I got some getaways there we go take it to the second That's enough. That's enough, kitty. You want to come say hi? Oh, it's found its mama. Now it thinks it needs his mama's attention. Mama said, you're too old. I'm not giving you no more milk. Around. Trying to do it upside down is just a little bit hard. I want you guys to be able to see everything. Just trying to catch the little kitty to show you, but. That's not what I want. I want my mama. And you're not gonna um, give me any milk like mama might. One more poof to go. Fluff these out. I like to fluff it as I go so I can see the fullness of the wreath. And holy cow, this is full. That is good. Love a full wreath. Lots and lots of layers. That's why we put lots of different ribbons in and different. Um, and just make different layers. Okay. All right, we're finally to the end. Okay, the end, we've got 
this little tie that we brought the mesh down. And we're gonna tie it right in. I'm gonna make us one more loop. And we're gonna tie it in right there. So there we go. And okay, now we're done. And we're gonna cut this at about an inch, inch and a half. Then we just tuck it right down in under and you never even notice it. So there we go. Here's our finished wreath, all fluffed, almost. So there it is, a beautiful finished hooped wreath. So that's the one of them. The second one we're gonna do is the ruffle, the little ruffle um, technique. And, okay, so we're gonna just go this one back here because we've missed one and I will show you guys how to do the ruffle technique really quick right, there we go just a little bare spot okay this is how full and pretty that looks so we'll take um, our 10 inch mesh and it comes that come in a 21 or a 10 and these are 10 and you want 18 inches. And I just take my um, sewing mat and I just go 18 inches on it and just cut a, cut as many as you need. And you, like we said when we first started out, you have 18 different um, hoops that you need to do. So you need to do at least 18 pieces of the mesh. And on this one, you put, as it rolls, it'll roll up like that, but you wanna put it face down on this. And you're gonna put it face down, and then you're just gonna ruffle this little thing up. You just ruffle like this as you get to the end, then you'll stick it in. And that is how we create it, and I did, the black and white check right here, and then I'm gonna do the red, and then I, when I decorate it, I'll put the sign probably right here, and then the big bow right here, and I think that will look really cute. So we'll take another piece. This stuff grabs each other, so as you're working with it, it tries to grab onto anything it can. It's got a little um, burry part on the um, the little sides of it, it's all kind of burry. So it likes to catch everything that it can. Okay, here we are. We're just walking our fingers right up the mesh. And give it a good twist. So see how we're building it? We're building it um, up and making it Pretty. Okay, on this right here, I'll go slow on this. You take about an inch, inch and a half, and you, that's where you go. And you find the center, and on this one, it has already has a center in it for you. So you just follow that and crumple it up and stick it between two of the little ties and give it a twist. And so we have two ties here and a tie here. Well, each one of those little ties get uh, a ruffle. That's what we call this one. It's the ruffle method. Just walk it up right down the center. And stick it in those pipe cleaner ties. Give it a little fluff. Okay. We've got four more to go. And then we'll move on to the one called the cruffle, and that's a ruffle um, with a little roll on the end. So it's just a little bit different than this one, but it's so fun. Different ways to make these wreaths, it's just been 
fun to learn. pretty that is. It's just a really cute method. This is another one that I made up. It's a peppermint one and that's going to be a cute one once we get a little peppermint sign on it and everything. So that's going to be a fun one. Okay, the next one is this, this one and it's got the rolls and then the ruffle. So I'm going to show you how to do that one. That one turned out really cute. So I've got part of it done. We started on it, so we're gonna finish it off. And we're doing it just the opposite as what we did it with the other one. We're doing this with the ruffle up, or the curl up. And I can find my little. Okay, so the curl is going to, we're gonna have it go up take and curl, let's get this out of the way, we curl it just a little bit and then we'll put the, um, this little helper um, pipe, or clothes pin on it and that'll help hold the little roll and then you just do another little roll and then you, you crunch it, you ruffle it up and see what a cute little ruffle that makes. So we're going to put that in there. We'll do a few of them, show you guys how. So we want to curl this end just a little bit. Put that right there. And then we'll curl this end and then walk up with our fingers and make the ruffle. We did the, the other little method, but we put the curl in this one. So it makes it kind of fun, a little bit different. Um, but cute, really cute.
I've showed you how to do three different wreaths and they're all using the dollar store wreath frames. And this one turned out really cute. See how that It's just really fluffy and cute. Um, dollar store wreath frames, you put your um, pipe cleaners on them to make them a wreath form. And you can do, there's uh, quite a few different ways. These are my three favorite ways to do it. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, like and subscribe to my channel and do a thumbs up. And I appreciate you watching. I've got a lot of fun, different things coming up. This is one of them. I did this out of $2 store signs and put a cute little um, arrangement in it. I'll show you guys how to do this. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.